Hello friends, this is Brian Cavanaugh here. I am the founder of Streamwise Solutions, Cord Cutting Made Easy, where we give you straight answers from cord cutting experts. Founded Streamwise Solutions 12 years ago to help thousands of people save over $100 a month off of their old TV and internet bundles and cut the cord. Today we're going to cover Fubo TV. We're going to give you step-by-step -step instructions on how to sign up for Fubo. Uh, and we'll give you little tips and tricks and details, but we have a separate video that actually covers the user interface of Fubo and a little bit of more of a review and tips and tricks, things like that. So you can check out the comments below. We'll put links to that and also a link to sign up for Fubo as well. Um, as you can see, Fubo is a live streaming service that offers 100 plus channels. Um, it gives you not only local channels, but also cable channels. And specifically in the Colorado area, it actually gives you altitude sports. So it is the best option to get altitude sports with a bundle of local channels, cable channels, as you can see here. Um, the main difference, if you're not familiar between like Fubo or other live streaming services compared to old cable and satellite bundles is that you're in control, you're saving money, there's no contracts, none of the crazy fees, none of the nickel and dime stuff, uh, and it's all in the cloud, so it includes a DVR, so you can stream it you know, from obviously your smartphone or tablet or computer, and also from Apple TV, Fire TV, Roku, Apple TV, uh, smart TV type stuff as well. Um, anyway, we'll get started here. Uh, if you go to our website, uh, www.getstreamwise.com, um, we have a lot of different resources on our website to help cord cutters. Uh, we actually have a cord cutting news, which is a blog section, uh, where we update a lot of different things on there. Uh, we have a monthly newsletter for our customers and support and all kinds of great stuff. Uh, as you can see here, this is just one of our blogs where we kind of have a live TV streaming comparison. Uh, we recommend antennas for lots of folks because it gives you TV for free. Um, but, you know, if you need more channels, there's add-ons like Philo and Sling TV that don't have local channels. Um, however, Fubo is where you need to go to if you want to get to uh, have your local channels and cable channels all in one spot, one user interface, one app. Uh, and if you want to get like regional sports, like altitude sports, it's the least expensive bundle to be able to do that. So anyway, if you start at the website or if you go to the bottom of this video in the comments section, we'll put a link there. You just simply click on that link from your tablet, smartphone, computer, and it will take you to Fubo's website where you can click directly on a free trial. Um, so you just click start your free trial and Fubo will dump you into, it's kind of similar to a Netflix type of thing where you just sign up with your email, you create a password, and then that email and password, just make sure you jot that down. It's asking me for my zip code because it wants to figure out you know, what channels are available in my area because it does vary by area as far as which channels uh, are available. And it has different packages, um, plenty of channels in just the base pro package. So that's what I'm going to go with. Altitude Sports is actually included in there. Uh, you can see, you know, if you want to get Red Zone and some other things, or if you want to get uh, 4K. Uh, I'm just going with the basic pro package. It has the DVR included in there. It includes, you know, multiple TVs. So it really gives you everything you need. The pro package also has Altitude Sports as well. Um, so I'm just going to hit continue there. Um, it's just kind of showing you kind of everything that's uh, included. It's giving you the option to do monthly billing or quarterly. Uh, we'll just do monthly. And then of course it's asking me for all the, the basic info and we'll create a account. Uh, keep in mind that you're going to want to 
uh, like I said before, jot down your login info. It's similar to like a Netflix type of thing where it will bill you for uh, every month automatically online. So it's pretty easy in that respect. You don't really need to do a whole lot. And um, just keep in mind, you're gonna need to download the app on your smart TV, whatever's compatible that you have, or your Roku, or Fire TV, or Apple TV, whatever streaming device you have. Um, it's gonna need that login info, so that's why I said earlier to jot down that login info so that you have that ready to go when you do download the app on your smart TV or what have you. So anyway, we're just going through. We'll do start the free trial. You can see it's pretty straightforward. They have a little bit in taxes, certainly a lot less than cable and satellite. They do, through this one, have a regional sports fee because of altitude sports, at least in my area. So uh, just FYI on that. Uh, still, by far, you know, it doesn't matter how many TVs you got, it's a much better deal than cable and satellite. And it's month to month, so you, you know, after the app season is over, I can totally cancel it if I want to and just go back to watching my free channels off of my outdoor antenna, as an example. Um, there's other add-on options. I'm not gonna worry about this, so I will just do skip, do it later. And then, boom, we're gonna create our little profile. So we can add favorite channels. So like for instance, it's giving us the option on setup here. We can always edit this after the fact as well. Um, we'll just kind of skip through that step. Denver Broncos, as painful as that is, is my favorite team. And the Philadelphia Eagles, not as painful. So you can kind of customize it to some extent, and this will just make it a little bit better when you actually get into the service. We'll uh, just kind of select a couple shows here too, and be on our way, click done. <clears throat> And that's it, so pretty straightforward. Now we're into the user interface. You can see I'm already into my account and signed in. So I can actually go through right here, right now and watch live TV. I can record shows, I can do everything just straight from the user interface. Um, we'll have that on a separate video like I mentioned before. So uh, definitely click down below in the comments and uh, you can get to our website, you know, getstreamwise.com for more tips and tricks. But we'll also put a link in there for Fubo TV to sign up. And then we'll also have on there a link to our other Fubo TV video, which will have more details on the actual user interface and just kind of a review with some tips and tricks on getting the most out of Fubo TV. Uh, so now, like I said, all you need to do is go to your smart TV or Roku or Fire Stick and either search for the Fubo TV app or just, you know, use voice search and, you know, download the Fubo TV app and log in with your email and password and you'll be good to go. Uh, make sure you click down below and subscribe to the Streamwise Solutions YouTube page for more tips and tricks on anything related to cord cutting and stream streaming and saving money. Thanks for tuning in and we'll talk to you soon.